go ahead quickly because I'm running out of time. Yo, yo, yo. Howard. Yeah. Yo, what up? Come on, quickly. Um, listen, I need a date with Dana. <laughs> Dana? <laughs> Listen, I used to come home from school every day and watch you and just touch myself with different strokes. I love you. All right, there you go. Thank you for that. <laughs> wow. I'll be down there in an hour, Howard. All right, very good. And I'll oh, be out of here shortly. Is that cool? Right. And, and, you have a, and, 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 and you have a nice-sized um, genitalia? Uh, seven and a half. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. really doesn't matter. I, no, I'm, now I, don't I believe love you. the man that I love. You do? Yes. You're in love with him? Very much so. And he has big genitalia. Yes, sir. He does. All right. What is it, Baba Buhai? So Benji just called me from the drugstore, and I guess there was a little confusion. They do have this test. Yes. But it's not immediate. You have to I send know, it. You have to send, send it out. Oh, uh, all right. You know, if you want to give me the urine too, okay, I can send both of them out. Send everything oh, out. Whatever you want. No, send the hair out. You know, hair is fine. really not necessary. Hair is fine. That's great. Okay. Uh, wait, right. wait. Wisdom teeth count. They do count because I had them out. You did have them out. Yes, what? it wrecked my life for a while. And so. what, what'd you take for that? I had to take stuff for that. Percodan? I had to. I had no, I mean, I had to. I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. When did you get your wisdom teeth out? Um, 18 weeks ago. 18 weeks ago. Well, we'll probably find something. The hair holds the, the, hair holds the secret. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, I think it said it's, it's a 90 days worth of stuff is what it holds. Oh, okay, good. Ron, you're on the air. Okay, Ron is gone. Well, this has certainly been a lively appearance. Wow. I mean, wow. just look at me. You can look at me and say I'm okay. Gary, yes. Uh, you look fantastic. But then again, what do I know? I don't want to seem naive. Gary, I you're on the air. Good morning, Howard. Yes. Yeah. Do you really? Dana. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Dana, do you remember the last year of the show? You weren't on it, but I was Todd's roommate in college on the yes. show. Yes, yes. And I've met, I've met you many times. Yes. And, uh, let me ask you a question. Yes. What happened with, did Todd break your arm on the set? One day, yes. That's what I heard. What happened? I don't like to speak bad about it. It was an accident. It truly was an Todd accident. Todd Bridges, you're referring no, to? No, it was an accident. We were just brawling, you know, playing my my, my, my wild Miss Piggy flying down the hall thing, you what, know. What, you broke your arm? No, I went WWF on him, you know. And then we were You just, had a fight with Todd Bridges, a physical no, fight? No, we were playing. We were just wrestling around. We were just wrestling. And you, uh... And he, he landed on me and I rolled down wrong. That's it, truly. Right, so it wasn't, uh... It wasn't a violent thing at all. All right. Okay, Danny, you coming back to L.A.? Uh, No. Okay. Not well, for her. I'm done with that place. Good for you. Right right on. Thank you. Good Please. luck, Dana. Thank right. you, man. Well, there it is. Uh, what can I tell you, Dana? You're controversial, evidently. Huh. Are you sorry that you were a child actress? No, see, you know, that, that term really bothers me. I think a child actress is someone who only has it when they're little and cute. Hmm. You know? Right. I'm better now than I ever have been. And I get better, all, yeah. Yes. I get better all the time. The fire's still in there. It is. Yes. So you enjoy. I, I'm an actress. I consider myself an actor, not a child star. Right. That, that really bothers me a lot. Right. Well, because I never was young and cute. You know, <laughs> I got cute as I got older, maybe. You know, but no, really, I think it's something that it burns within. And what about that white guy who was your father on the show, Mr. Mr. Drummond? He is the most fabulous. You still man. see him? I, I speak to him occasionally. You do? Yes, I do. You give him a call. He's like, how are you doing, Mr. Drummond? Yeah, at least once a year we speak. Dana Plato will be appearing May twenty first and twenty. Second in Chicago at the Expo of the Extreme. This mega concert includes Motorhead and Fang. For more information, please call the Expo hotline at 314 409 3600 or visit the website at www.mikehuntsonfire.com. <laughs> oh, can I say goodbye? Yes, please. Okay. Goodbye, everybody, and thank you very much for calling and saying hi to me, and thank you for blessing me, and also, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I really am. You offended no one. Why would you offend somebody? Oh, those wackos in our audience, don't worry about them. Okay. Hey, they're <laughs> thinking about me, but thanks for calling. In my audience, do you really think you could offend somebody? <laughs> I mean, if they listen to this show. you. Right. Thank you for having me. Uh, you're welcome. Anytime. And thanks for giving us this exclusive. You have come out of hiding, and uh, it's great to see you. Yeah. Dana nice Plato. Yeah, Dana Plato, everybody.